there she is, Pedusa, in her natural habitat, coming forward <laughs> as we just got off the plane. <laughs> we are officially in Cincinnati, which might just be, well, I just popped a pimple on the plane, so ignore that. Um, one of our last big shoots for the series. It's gonna be an intense couple of days of shooting for this one. Um, so this is for the episode on heroin and trafficking. And I know it's probably distracting to, talk, to look at my face with this, but... downtown Cincinnati and we're staying at the Hyatt which is cool because the only time I've ever been here we stayed here and we're going to dinner at 7 p.m. but we have like a super early neither look at it as early in the morning or late at night shoot um, but there's the Cincinnati Music Festival that's happening right now so it's pretty crowded as well as like some conferences and stuff so we're here at a pretty busy time Hey, uh, Kevin, how do you feel? <laughs> so when you have a shoot on a Saturday morning at 5 a.m., you can't find coffee, and you go to the gas station coffee, not even that. Not even that, guys. So it is like about 7.30 now. Um, we woke up at like four and showed up at like the fire department around five, but the one that we ended up going to had like closed last week and the fire chief um, left the country like for vacation, I guess, or whatever. And so some things like, they didn't fall through, just our schedule was adjusted and we woke up hours earlier, but it was kind of good that we woke up early just cause, I don't know, it makes you feel more productive. And so they basically told us we have to come back at 9 so that we could fill out release forms and because of the shift change. So that's what we're doing. So we're in Cincinnati, but we're going to the Kentucky, to Kent like northern Kentucky, to do our shoot on, well, a scene for a heroin episode. And so obviously this is a hub. Um, and so we're doing ride-alongs, not with police, but with the fire department. And yeah, so that's what you guys... So whatever you guys saw on that episode, it's from today's shoot. The water or your planet is doomed. So we are at Cheapside, which is a breakfast joint that is open because we are early birds right now. It's Saturday morning and it's, we'll just turn eight. So not as early, but you know. This is what oatmeal brulee is. And it's like creme brulee. Excuse me? I was saying, oh my gosh, the sandwich is. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. not what you were saying. Kevin hates me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin. So we have made it to uh, the fire department in Covington, Kentucky. It's Covington, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we're just waiting for when they get called so that we can do a ride on. So all three of us are going to go with them and. Hopefully, see something we need to see for our story. We just um, went to the first scene, but it was a homeless event that was happening, and a man collapsed. It was a false alarm, which usually, like, a false alarm, obviously, something like this is good because you don't wish for this to happen to people, but in terms of when it comes to reporting and stuff, when it happens, you just hope that you're there to be able to cover it because it's an important story to tell. So it's like still early morning in Kentucky and there were five heroin overdoses in 25 minutes just in this area. I had ever been to an overdose scene. 
saw the paramedics give, them, give the guy Narcan and he came back to life. And I was really shaken up because there were, um, there were like kid shoes surrounding him. They also found crack and it was just weird. There was a crew of like people in their 20s who like left the house. And when we got there, one of the paramedics was just like, yeah, there was a group of people who were getting high here, so. It was interesting. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. You know, you usually see stuff like that in movies. And Kate was mentioning how it was like, almost like a, an apocalypse, like a zombie apocalypse. Cause here, like the people were walking out around like just really drugged out and you just see, I don't know. It's scary to think like what's in their head, you know? It's also just scary to be in that, in that room. Like, oh my gosh. So one of the firemen was telling us about a time where they went to the scene of an overdose and like they always have to try to find out where the needles are because um, it serves obviously as a danger to the guys who are on the scene. And one time this guy like was a diabetic and um, was a heroin addict and he was like overdosed and they had to open his hand and when the fireman like poked, tried to open his hand to put in the needle like he got poked by the heroin needle and ended up getting hepatitis and has to get checked every so often for the next year and a lot of repercussions so it's frustrating especially because a lot of these guys are at the same like at the same house at the same place treating the same people bringing the same people back to life multiple times sometimes even in a weekend so I don't know yeah it's been pretty intense So what happens when you start your day at five in the morning? You get breakfast twice. So it's just around noon and the only thing we're eating here is brunch. Which I don't mind. Brunch twice. Shrimp and grits. And these two. Like? Here you go. Is there anything I can get you guys? Oh no, uh, this no. is great, thank okay. you. It is a perfect 73 degrees and even though today is a really intense day, we've been eating good eating well, whatever it is, Adam, don't, don't gotta yell at me for it. And now we're breaking. And then, it's like an everything bagel fusion thing. So I didn't have time for meet and greet, but the one thing that everybody said thank you so much to do was to get great curves. I think that's how you say it. So this morning we went to back to the fire department just in case there was another scene that we could shoot. Um, so that's why I'm wearing the same thing. But there wasn't and that was still, I mean it still felt good to go just to like make sure that you maximized on your time in wherever city. But we really unfortunately got lucky, I guess, because you don't ever wish for those things to happen. But yesterday when we, um, we were able to get the scene of the overdose, and that was actually the first time anyone in our, look, it's Kevin, in our company who, like, got one of those scenes, so. So yeah, Kevin, how are you feeling after last night, yesterday, during the day? Good. Just good, because he only says things in one word. Anyway, oh, and also Zach is here. This is the first time that we've ever all traveled. Here for a Revolt Sold in America crossover episode. Yeah, we're doing a collaboration mm -hmm. <laughs> with our two series. Um, yeah, so this is the first time we're all together in one place. Now we're going to have bread. Cheese. So I'm finally leaving Cincinnati slash Northern Kentucky. Um, 
It was a very productive trip. I got more than like we could have asked for, you know? But that is a wrap and I can't wait to go home. And it's funny because Adam has a fellowship or had a business fellowship in the UK. It was the exact same days that I ended up having to travel for work anyway. So we are going to be reunited tonight. I'm a leap. Also, oh, the gates are downstairs. Anyway, I also have four hours till my flight. So I went to the nail salon and got a mani-pedi and massage and bigger. That was some self-care I could squeeze in before I have to go home. But yeah, it was a really productive trip. Um, this morning we went, I think I already said this, but we went to the fire department just in case we were gonna get another scene. And we didn't, but we got super lucky yesterday, so it's totally fine. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna chill, probably call my mom and my sisters because that is what I end up doing. And I just rant to them about everything I just saw. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe and all that good stuff. I'm just saying that stuff so that I can keep talking. I don't know why, okay, I love you guys, bye. So I went to the Grater's ice cream at the airport to get an avocado, right? And I saw on the list, there was one called Cheese Crown, and that wasn't at the one that I went to yesterday, I didn't see it. And it's like cheesecake and cinnamon chunk things, and it tastes like heaven. So the way that I'm gonna end this Cincinnati vlog is just saying a shout out to Grater's for the best ice cream ever. Apparently it's at Whole Foods, so I'm about to make my way to Whole Foods to find it because I can't live with this. I cannot live with this anymore. That is all. Not sponsored by graders, but I wish it was. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and of course, subscribe. And don't forget to hit me up on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at ntagori. See you guys on the next one.